Hey, how you doing today? My name is Relia and thank you so much for stopping by. Today we are playing Hollow Knight and I want to show everyone out there how to install the Hollow Twitch mod. And what this is going to do, it's going to make it so in that way anybody who's typing into chat in Twitch is going to be able to affect your game in Hollow Knight. So the very first thing we need to do is go ahead and open up the mod manager. So I can leave a link down in the description below. Just note when you go to open it, it says warning this might be a virus. That's normal. Uh, if you don't trust me or if you don't trust the link, eh, just don't install it. Um, but yes, there'll be a link. Uh, once we get to here, uh, there'll be a bunch of different mods that you can install. Go ahead and click right here for install next to Hollow Twitch. Once this installs, you'll go ahead and click over to the README file, and this will give you all the information you need. Um, I'm not going to lie, I missed a couple of steps. It was it was a little confusing for me when I was doing this. I, I got lost, and I had to do probably about an hour's worth of trial and error on this one. So the first thing you need to do is go to uh, this website here, and you're going to get your authentication token. So let me go ahead and move over there so here is uh is the website you'll go ahead and just come here and then you'll link your twitch account um when you get this twitch token um you want to copy everything except for the uh auth at the beginning the o a u t h um i messed that up because when you go to highlight it it highlights everything that was uh the big mistake that i kept making so what we're going to do is take that code and what we're going to do is we need to put it into a specific file. Place your token, username, and channel um, within the Twitch mod global settings.json file. So in order to do that, it, we need to go ahead and get to um, the save game uh, folder. So it's in your Hollow Knight. Oops, I should make this a little bit big, bigger. It's in your Hollow Knight saves folder. So to get to there, I will go ahead and put this file path down in the description below. Um, this is the default folder. Um, it is the app data, local low, team cherry, hollow Knight. That is the default. I don't know how to get there other than this. So I'll, I'll make sure to, that you get that. Um, when you get here, more than likely this Twitch mod global settings folder um, file will not actually be here until you run the game with the app installed and then you close out of the game it says right here if the file does not exist run the game with the mod installed and quit the game with the menus um, so yeah super simple I don't think I need to show you how to do that um, so once you do that you'll come back over to this folder and this will be right here as a, uh, a .json file. And when you open it, it might not know how to open. So you want to make sure to open it with Notepad. So once you open it with Notepad, the main things that you need to watch out for is while you're doing this, uh, one, you put your token in here without the AUTH part in the beginning. Make sure everything's in quotes. And then also you put your username and your channel name in quotes. Go ahead and save it here. And then also, if you see this come up over here, like a, a second link, I went in here and I went to open with notepad. I took off the always open with uh, notepad. And I did the same thing in here. It's literally the exact same thing, but put it in quotes, username and channel name, and it actually worked. And I am extremely hyped. So now when we play the game, uh, if I type in, if I come over to Twitch, over here and type in uh, spike floor uh, it works so now we are going to be able to play this thing we're going to be able to do the hollow twitch so remember every tuesday 8 30 pacific standard time come join me as we uh make our way through this madness and i'll talk to you guys again more real soon thanks bye